Hello everyone and welcome to today's Python tutorial for beginners. In today's tutorial we are going to make a very fun game and or project. So here we are going to enter a word as you can see and I will say something like play. I press enter and it gives me the rhyming words. So day, away and way. It gives me basically three rhyming words. So I can specify more but I've just done three. And now if I uh, choose another word, rain, then we have vein, train, and plane. So this is what we are going to uh, make today. And we are going to learn a lot about sending requests and to fetch APIs. Okay, to start with, uh, I'm using replit.com. And uh, then I, we are going to also use this website for the API. It's called datamuse.com forward slash API. It's freely and publicly available. So here, if you go down below, you can see lots of things that you can do with, uh, with words. So we are interested in words that rhyme with whatever the user inputs. And if I just click on this, this gives me back a JSON file, which is stands for JavaScript Object Notation, which is a language of APIs. And this format is readable also by Python because Python has an inbuilt um, JSON library, so you don't need to import a third-party library. Um, now, wh what you get back is these like dictionary things, dictionary-like things in, in in Python. Uh, so, uh, it's, but it's JavaScript. Uh, objects now look at this url here so here you can see this is the endpoint and then here we have also what the user should in should input so if i change this to play and i press enter then you see this changes to the words that rhyme with play like day away way lay so what we need to do is to send a request to this page first and then ask for a parameter and here should be filled by user. And then what we get back is all this information, but we don't need the score or number of syllables, or we don't need also more than three maybe. So we'll go through this using a for loop. And we would say that for this, for the words, for all the words we get, go through each of them and grab the first item and display it. So it would show day, away and way. Now let's go back to our replit and let's start. So the first thing we need to do is to import requests. So because we need to send some requests to grab that URL and then we also uh, need to now use request. So let's just say request equals and the way we do it so this is, can be R or RES or whatever. You can name it whatever you want. So it makes sense to call it request. And then we are going to use that request library that we just imported to, to get something. So we are requesting to get a specific URL. And what is the, the URL that we are going to get? Let's see. So this is the URL that we are going to get up to words because this is a parameter now. So we just get back and I'm going to put it inside quotes. So this is API endpoint. Now, we also need to have some parameter as you just saw after, um, see, so this is a parameter now after this question mark. So we need to specify this as well and the way we do it, we do it. Let's just call it parameter, and <clears throat> now we should specify what the parameter is. So the parameter should be parameter. Well, it can be actually a dictionary. Why a dictionary? Because look here, we have a key, rel, ry, and a value. So this could be a dictionary, right? A key value pair. So we just put it uh, like empty for now. And how can we add things to dictionary? We can say what the user inputs, right? To go as um, as the, the value. 
so parameter parameter and this way square brackets so it was rel ry so that was a key but what should be the value this value should be whatever our user inputs and what is the user input so let's just define it here let's just say that user equals uh, input and enter a word so whatever the uh, so whatever the user inputs is going to be saved into user variable and then that would be the value of this key which is inside the dictionary so if you don't know about uh, dictionaries in Python I have a full tutorial um, on Python dictionaries you can refer to so now that we have access to the user's input we have this key we have this value and this is going to be the parameter awesome now the next thing we need to do is to because if I print request let's see what we get so let's just um, yeah let's comment this out because we don't want it to show up here now so let me just print this out and what we get is Oh, is an error because yeah the user has not been yeah I just okay enter a word let's say whatever let's say rain for example now this is what we get so the response when we send a request we get a response of a status code 200 it means our request was successful so we got a successful re response let's say but if we got something like 300 it may it would mean that it's like de de redirected to another page or if it's say 400 or 404 means there was a problem and you, you can know how to uh, read these status codes by saying uh, status code and then well this is in Dutch but uh, okay list of HTTP status codes and here we have them what the ones with two and something like 200 201 it means 200 is okay then if you get to three something like 300 it's for redirection uh, four something like 400 404 and whatever it means uh, there's an error so what we got is actually a successful response okay that was good but I don't want just a response like a response code I want the JSON file that is this file I want all this kind of file in this format how do I do that so I'm going to save that JSON file into something called rhyme and the request dot JSON so now I have access to the file that I just showed you the JSON file this file so I have access to this now and this is for me inside now rhyme I've said inside rhyme now what can I do with it so let's get rid of request now so the thing I want to do with it is I want to loop through it so let me show you I want to loop through it so what whenever someone for example says play this dictionary is created which is a parameter this will be shown well this will be accessed actually but then which part of it do I want I want to say that I want to loop through this and whenever you get to the word whenever you get to each of them take the first one that is the word and print it out and then go to the next one get the word print the value out so this is what I'm going to do okay so I say for let's say I in rhyme that is our JSON file and I only want uh, actually three of the results so I would say from the f first to the third that is zero one two up to but not including three so I want only three results that is the first three instances 
and I want to print I and what which one inside the I word so let's go back again that is word so this is going to be I you see all of these let me well collapse all yeah so these are all uh, rhyming words for play so I is zero first and then next time I would be one so this word then I would be two so I want only these three and then inside this three I want to get to the word yeah makes sense okay now let's see okay let's uh, run again and wait a bit okay enter a word let's say try lie I buy okay cool so it works another one enter a word blame game name frame but what if I start something with a capital does it work again if yes then it does okay cool okay so this is uh, this is our project for today thank you for watching and listening